back to our kitchen. Today we're making peanut butter snowballs and I thought I'd share this quick little fast recipe with y'all. Last week we made Ritz crackers and we we're making more today. Today we're making peanut butter snowballs and I'm going to show y'all how to make these little white snowballs out of peanut butter. So come on and let's get started. Okay, to make the peanut butter snowballs, you're gonna need two cups of powdered sugar, one cup of peanut butter, a half a stick of butter, one teaspoon of butter flavoring or vanilla, and you're gonna need about three of these little blocks of the almond bark and some sprinkles to sprinkle your snowballs. So now let's turn around here and get started. We're gonna go ahead now and melt our half a stick of butter in the microwave. And we're gonna go ahead now and start melting our white chocolate and I'm gonna use a double boiler. You could use the microwave or you could do this and it keeps your chocolate warm so it don't start getting hard on you. You can keep it on here and keep it warm while you're working with your chocolate. And we've got a lot of recipes to do today with white chocolate, so I'm gonna go ahead and just melt all of this chocolate. But for the peanut butter balls, it will probably take around two to three blocks. a teaspoon of Crisco to my chocolate. Okay, we're gonna start by adding our two cups of powdered sugar, or one cup of peanut butter, Make sure we get it all out of there. And now we're gonna add our half a stick of melted butter. One teaspoon of your flavoring. whichever you choose. Some people use vanilla. I've got this butter flavoring, so I'm gonna use that. And now we're just gonna start mixing it together. And just incorporate all that powdered sugar into that peanut butter with the butter. And it gets messy but it just takes a little bit of work to get it to combine. By the time you get through, you're gonna look like it snowed in your kitchen. I got that much with the spatula done. I'm just gonna go ahead now and work it like you would a dough to get it combined good. trying to get all that powdered sugar off of that glass dish. Now we're gonna make our peanut butter balls. We're gonna use this parchment paper to roll out our peanut butter balls on. My little snowman fell down. Now we're just gonna take our peanut butter ball dough, sort of like a dough, and start rolling it out into little ball form sizes, about the size of a golf ball.
and you could use dark chocolate or the white chocolate if you wanted to just make regular peanut butter balls but these are what they call peanut butter snowballs so we're going to use the white chocolate We've got all our little peanut butter snowballs rolled out, and now we're fixing to dip them in the chocolate. And I just wanted to show y'all that recipe for that amount makes nine, ten, eleven snowballs. If you're wanting to double it to make a bigger batch, just double the recipe to get more. But this recipe right here makes eleven. We've got our white chocolate melted. Now we're gonna start dipping our snowballs. And we're gonna try it with a toothpick. We're gonna to stick it down in the whole ball, pretty almost coming out, but not all the way. And then you're just gonna take it. I'm gonna move this out of my way. And you're just gonna take and roll your peanut butter ball right in the milk chocolate. And just let it have a minute to drip all the extra chocolate off and then you're just going to set it over there to the side and the chocolate will turn hard within about 10 to 15 minutes we'll do a couple more and then i'll bring y'all back when i get them all dipped Does that look like a snowball? And now before the chocolate starts turning hard, I'm gonna go ahead and add me just a few little sprinkles to my snowballs. You could use any kind you want. These are just some that I've got it, that I had from Walmart. And I've even got the sugar kind of sprinkle. So you could put a different kind on every other one. But I'll bring y'all back when we get them all dipped. The toothpick idea was Travis's. Whenever we were doing our Ritz crackers, that's just the way we decided to do them. That works great, sticking that toothpick in the top of that one cracker. Good idea. Just take and smooth out your chocolate on top of each one before you put your sprinkles.
Okay, now you just let them set for around 10 to 15 minutes and you'll have some snowballs that are dry. Takes just a little bit and look how pretty. Anybody would be glad to have this for a Christmas party, little appetizer, or as a gift. This would make a great little gift for somebody. Okay, y'all, there's our little video on peanut butter snowballs. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe if you hadn't already. Thanks for watching.